Hello everybody. Um, this is Cheryl Marie Franks again. I just want to make another quick video. Um, there's just something on my heart. I, I believe the Lord has showed me. Um, but um, she can't tell nobody though. <laughs> um, um, I just believe it, um, it's about Donald Trump. Um, I voted for him. I was all adamant about voting for him. Um, I could have been his campaign manager. <laughs> um, but they say hindsight is 2020. Um, I didn't, I mean, I was all gung ho. I didn't want Hillary or another eight years of Obama, and Hillary was too much like Obama. So I, I, figured I had to vote for Donald Trump. I thought um, he was God's man for America. Um, but now, I, I'm going to just throw this out there at you and just see see what y'all think, okay? Um, he, I thought after I had voted for him and everything, okay, there's just been little things that different ways my eyes have been opened okay to things um, Jesus Jesus says no man can serve two masters okay he, he he will either hate the one and love the other or hold to the one and despise the other you can't serve both God and mammon which is money you can't serve both God or and money um, it's one or the other okay so I thought, you know, uh, you know, and 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 basically, that's all uh, President Donald Trump is about is money, making America great again. Um, you know, it's all about money. So, and then, well, and then other things. Um, he's really ambitious, okay, um, and just so many, there's so many other things I feel like God has opened my eyes about, and I'm just throwing this out there at you, see what you think, what, and this is my opinion, okay, and this is my personal opinion, but even though I voted for him, uh, and to be honest, I didn't vote this last year either. <laughs> this midterms, I didn't. So tell me whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Um, I just didn't want to get into the politics because I feel like nobody can make this country great again but Jesus, okay? And people are saying that God chose President Donald Trump. He puts, he does appoint an office, and this is what the Lord showed me that, um, Yes, he put him there, but just like God chose Judas, uh, God chose Donald Trump. <laughs> um, just like that, but you see the story, you, I don't know if you've heard the story of Judas, but um, yes, G Judas, Jesus spent time in prayer seeking Father God who to make the last disciple. Or one of the yeah one of the disciples and um, Father God told Jesus it's Judas, you know to choose Jesus. So he did. Jesus did choose Judas, but it was only to fulfill his plan. You know God had a plan to send Jesus to the cross. You know for our sins, and that's why. Uh, Father God chose Judas because he knew he knew what Judas was going to do. He knew the the selfish ambition and the love of money in Judas's heart and spirit. That's all Judas was about. Even though he followed Jesus around like he was one of his um, as a disciple, but his heart was not with Jesus. His heart heart did not love Jesus. His heart Judas's heart loved money. Um, and he was very ambitious. Not only cared about his money. Um, 
he didn't serve he didn't serve Jesus. He walked with him, and yes, God chose him, but he he did not love Jesus. Okay, and then I hear when Donald Trump they asked him if he um, if he forgive if he's asked Jesus to forgive him of his sins, and he said no. Why I don't have no need to. Okay, um, that was another red flag, which I should have seen before I voted for him. Okay, um, uh, what else? Um, okay, another thing I had I had um, seen on YouTube or seen a post of um, uh, Donald Trump a picture. It said. Donald Trump was holding it, and it said, this is before he got voted in, and it said, put God back in the White House again. And it struck me because, it struck me just the other night because, even though i seen that before I voted for him, but the other night when I, I, I seen, the sign, seen the post again, Donald Trump is sitting there, well, it's President Donald Trump now, but he's sitting there holding that sign, put God back in the White House again. Okay, so that's another red flag. Um, and I think he was talking about himself, okay? And that he, that he is God, okay? Well, then another thing, um, this peace treaty thing, okay? Jesus tells us over and over, don't let no man deceive you. And he tells us that over and over because this person who... who who is the Antichrist in the last days, the, um, what Jesus talks about, he's, he's going to deceive people, okay? He's, it's going to be great so much that um, he's going to be good at it. <laughs> I mean, the devil, like a lot of people think Obama is the Antichrist. No, because he's wanting people <laughs> to think he is. He ain't nothing, okay? He's, he's just wanting to, but... Mm -mm. The, the devil's not going to come out, or the Antichrist ain't going to come out and say, and be mean, you know. He's not going to say, hey, um, oh, hey, I'm the devil, you know, I'm the Antichrist, or whatever. No, he's going to deceive people into thinking he's something that he's not. I mean, he, that he's something other than the Antichrist. Okay, that's how he's going to hook people. That's, how he's, that's where the deception comes in at. Okay. Um, he's going to come in anti means um, opposite, or it also means like as or in place of. Okay, so people are going are thinking they're talking about building that third temple um, for the Messiah over there, you know, Israel over there in Jerusalem. But that's the true Jesus is not coming that way. He is not going to be sitting in the third temple. God is not in that. God is not in building the third temple. We don't have to have the third temple. You know, Jesus, the real Jesus, is going to be coming in the clouds. He's coming to take the true believers out of here, okay, um, by the rapture. The catching away is going to cause, take us out to heaven, back, you know, to heaven with him. That's Jesus is, is coming in the clouds, okay? The, the, the Antichrist, the Antichrist, when we see him sitting in that temple, uh, claiming he's God, um, you know, we're, we're going to know. I believe it's going to be Donald Trump. I really do. Um, I have never said this about another president before. But this time, I feel like God's opened my eyes to it. Um, that's just my opinion, okay? And that's what I believe. I believe he's full of uh, money, full of the love of money. Um, he's full of selfish ambition, just like Judas Iscariot. And Jesus said, Jesus says in First Thessalonians, when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction, okay? And um, he also says there's going to be a great falling away. Um uh, and, and after there's, there's a great falling away, that, um, that Jesus isn't going to take us out of here until that man of sin be revealed, that son of perdition. I believe Donald, President Donald J. Trump is the son of perdition. I believe he is. Um, because he's coming as, he's trying to claim 
like put God in the White House. I think he's talking about himself. Um, he's he's Russian. He put moved the U.S. Embassy to uh, Jerusalem. Um, that's another thing. Um, he's talking about the peace treaty, and it's like whoever who whoever confirms or signs that peace treaty, um, that's the Antichrist. I believe I believe we're going to see uh, President Donald J. Trump sign it. <laughs> but whoever does, I don't know. Matt Macron is talking about getting a peace treaty up if if uh, President Donald Trump don't. But I think President Donald Trump is so ambitious, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. We're going to see him sign it. I believe it, and I believe he's he's um. And then when that happens, um, I, I believe that's the way it's going to pan out. I don't know. We can we're, we'll see as we go along, you know. But um. If he signs that peace treaty, and Jesus does tell us, warn us that when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. America's not going to be great again. It's going to take Jesus, not no man, not no flesh and blood man like Donald President Donald J. Trump. I would love to believe that, but it's it's not going to happen that way. Only Jesus Christ can make it great again if people will put put Jesus first. So. Okay, and there's there's another thing. Um, the main the main goal of the Antichrist is he's he's going to pretend um, to bring peace to the world. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna be like to um, he's coming as a peacemaker, like Jesus is coming as a peacemaker, like Jesus is the Prince of Peace, and that's one thing that I've noticed. Um, that President Donald Trump um, tries to be like he's coming with peace. You know, he's coming like as a peacemaker like Jesus. He's trying to be in place of Jesus, okay? And um, that's what I believe. I believe he's full of the love of money, like Judas Iscariot, like the son of perdition was. Um, um, I believe he is trying to portray himself as a as a peacemaker like Jesus the prince Jesus is the only true prince of peace okay he's anti Christ he's like anti um he's trying to be as Jesus like Jesus or I know it means the opposite but no he's going to be deceiving people in coming as Jesus okay and they're already calling him Messiah over there um, in Israel. Um, let's see. I, be, I believe that. That's what I believe. I believe that he's 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 the, that Donald J. Trump is the son of perdition because he's he's like Judas, and Jesus called Judas the son of perdition. I believe he. Um, oh, that's what I believe. I believe we are in the last days. I believe that these are days to prepare. And don't be deceived. I know a lot of evangelists are praying, you know, praying uh, for for that temple to be built and all that kind of stuff. But it's, God is not in that about building the third temple. And only, and I feel like, yes, he did choose Donald J. Trump to be president. Only to unwrap, just like he did with Judas, Judas Iscariot. And then you know the story of Judas. He, uh, Jesus said at the Passover that night, had Jesus and his disciples, every one of them were there eating the, uh, um, the la at the Lord's Last Supper. And bef before they got him, and Jesus said one to all of them, one of you is going to betray me tonight. And they're all like, most of them, Peter and all of them were like, oh, Lord, is it me? Is it me? Please tell me it's not me. You know, because they truly love Jesus. But Jesus said, he who dips their bread in the sop at the same time I do. And as they're eating, Jesus and Judas dip their bread in the sop at the same exact time. You see, like as, Antichrist, like as. Judas was, and that's why Jesus called him the son of perdition. And um, 
he, Jesus told him, uh, Judas, do what you're going to do, do quickly. And he did. Jesus got up and went out, and he went to the Pharisees, the religious Pharisees. And he, he betrayed Jesus by telling them Pharisees um, exactly where Jesus was going to be that night. In the, he, was, he was at the, in the garden. And um, after they left the Lord's Supper, they went to the Garden of Gethsemane. And uh, Jesus prayed all night when the disciples slept. So uh, Judas did just as Jesus. He dipped his bread in the sop that night. And then Judas got up and left and went to the Pharisees. And um, he snitched on Jesus and told him uh, for money. And he did it for money. He betrayed Jesus for money. And 32 pieces of silver, and he went out and hung himself. But, ab but after, until he hung himself after he had went, took those Pharisees and soldiers to go capture Jesus. He took them right to where Jesus was in the garden with the disciples. And he, he said, he, he, the one that I kiss on his cheek is, is the one, is the man. And uh, he said, so Judas goes up and kisses him on the, kisses Jesus on the cheek. And um, and then they captured him and put him in, uh, put him in prison or whatever. And it was all according to God's plan. God had a plan for Jesus to be captured that night, and He knew Judas was going to betray Him, and He did it because God was wrapping things up. God was God was had a plan to send Jesus to be crucified for our sins, and it was all a part of God's plan. Just like right now, I fully believe that we're in the last days and God's plan is unfolding. God's glory is being revealed right now and that's that's what I fully believe. And um and God, yes, God chose Donald J. Trump to be president right now. And he's kind of, he's doing like Judas. I fully believe he is the son of perdition. I feel like he it's coming in when he says put God back in the White House again, he's talking about himself. <laughs> Subtly, the devil's a subtle snake in the grass. <laughs> and that's how he deceives people. And Jesus says over and over, do not be deceived. And I, I believe that. I believe that's why he's hurrying with the peace treaty. He's hurrying with the, with the moving the embassy to Jerusalem. He's hurrying with the, he's, he's wanting to hurry with the third temple. Because his plan is to sit in that temple as God. And that's, that's what I believe um, that we're going to see. But, you know, we're going to see which, <laughs> if, that's, if that's true or not, okay? But um, only time will tell. But I fully believe that time is running out, though. Um, but I just figured I'd throw that out, y'all. Um, you can comment whenever. What do you <laughs> like or dislike, whatever. Um I'm just throwing it out there. I love you all, um, and I love this country. I care about it, but I fully believe that God is wrapping things up. He's facing, Jesus could come anytime, and it's just happening according to God's plan. And, but that's what I believe, that, Don, that President Donald J. Trump is the Antichrist and um, the, the son of perdition. And um, like Jesus says, and I, I believe it's going to be revealed very, very soon. And we'll know whoever signs that peace treaty. Um, but be warned, though, that when they sign that peace treaty, Jesus says that when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. Sudden destruction. And so I just wanted to throw that out there, um, see what y'all think. Um, and I love you all. And um, please like and subscribe. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell <laughs> and uh, for, for notifications because I will be making more videos. We'll get back on this. There's some more I wanted to cover on this subject right here, but I'm going to go for now. Okay, God bless you all, and just be ready and make sure your names are written in Jesus' Lamb's Book of Life to make it to heaven And because the times it's... This age of disgrace is running out, and um, just please be ready. Just make it to heaven. That's that's the main thing. No matter what you go through on this earth, um, just just 
focus on heaven and endure to the end. Jesus says, he that the love of many shall wax cold, but he that endures to the end the same shall be saved. So just endure to the end. Love Jesus and keep looking up for him. And, and just focus until you're in heaven. <laughs> um, I love you all. Okay, goodbye until next time. Okay, goodbye.